Two weeks ago, Portia's world came crashing down around her when her daughter said that she was being sexually and physically abused. The little girl said the bad people hurt her and even demonstrated how. And after further questioning, Portia says her boyfriend, Purnell, was revealed to be this bad person. I'm being accused of molesting my girlfriend, three-year-old daughter. I never molested her. Two weeks ago, the baby kept on saying her booty was hurt. Her booty hurt. My booty hurt. She tells me that the bad man is playing in her pants. The little girl um, said that I went in her panties and um, tried to look for treasure. I think that Purnell might have sexually molested both my granddaughters because he, he got a child with my daughter. I think Portia's mom put stuff in her head to make her say that because I ain't never heard her say that. There's no way that I would coach no little child to say somebody's messing with her body parts. I think Tanya just trying to get me away from Portia and my daughter. Me and Portia got a one-year-old together. Tanya um, don't like me because me and Portia got in a physical fight, and now she just hate me. About two weeks ago, I had Pernell in the living room watching my child while I was at work. Um, so I had a family member arrange to come over and pick her up. And um, so when that family member walks in, she goes, my booty hurts, my booty hurts. Um, I wasn't around for that. So um, they get back to my family member's house and my mom comes over there to get my daughter. So she goes to my mom, that's when she starts saying all this stuff. Um, my booty hurts, bad people mess with me while I'm asleep. Purnell tried to break my booty. Purnell tried to break my booty. Um, so when I got off of work, my mom called me after I had got my daughter back. So of course I had to go ask my child, you know, what's going on. So she's like, you know, my booty hurts, people touch me. She said the same thing that she said to my mom. So I asked her, I go, well, show me so I can try to get a better understanding. This is what she does. She makes a little popping motion on her booty, you know, Pernell tried to hurt my booty. But she, you know, kind of touched up here too. So that's where that confusion is coming from. After I hear, you know, after I hear my daughter tell me this, I go to Pernell, like, did this happen? Did you touch my daughter? Um, you know, he goes, of course not. So I tell him, you know, she making this popping thing with her booty. Did you pop her? You know, trying to get some clarification. He goes, I did pop her, but you have me watching her while you work, so I have to be able to discipline her somehow. But we previously had talked about him not popping her, so I don't understand. Now why, why did you have that conversation? Um, because... Um, we lived together at one point. We don't live together now. But um, he could pop her then. Um, but he didn't uh, pop her a lot, you know. Just She was a little baby back then. What's your relationship with Purnell now? Uh, we don't... We're not officially dating, but... Um, but you have a, ch a child together. We do have a child together. Right. Yeah, a little one-year-old. Right. So this is... A child that you have from a different relationship yes okay um, so you tell him you really don't want him disciplining y your three-year-old your child. Mm -hmm. how old is she she's three she'll she be four okay she'll be four mm -hmm. so she can certainly verbalize um, if something sexual was happening to her yeah yeah or no um it just depends on how you look at the word sexually cuz I don't really uh, she did touch her front part. But, but did she say that he touched her front part? Yeah. She did. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, your mom says she admits that she assumed abuse was sexual in nature. Mm -hmm. But she she believed in it, right? I mean, she's like, she wants him to go to jail. They're, she knows what they do to sexual uh, mm -hmm. child molesters yeah. in there. She believes it, yeah. She doesn't like Pernell. She does not like Pernell. She Pernel. brings up the fact that Pernell, uh, like, broke your glasses and hit you or something. Yeah. Is that why you're not together with him? Uh, yeah, that is why we're not together. Do you see a future with Pernell? I'm just curious. Um, we have a child together, so I do feel like, you know, it could be if he passes these tests, maybe. What if he fails for the, the spanking? Because I obviously, 
you know, when you talk about uh, physical abuse, you're not seeing marks or bruises all over mm -hmm. the child. So yeah. if he is popping, yeah, maybe he shouldn't be doing that, but he's not leaving marks on the child. Right. I don't want no type of physical abuse. I do understand, you know, discipline. I just want the right people to be disciplining her. Um, Which would be problem. you? Yeah, me. Yeah. Okay. Purnell. I just want to make sure that before they read off these tests that you understand Man, that... I would, never, I would never do that, baby. And I would never, like, for my child, if I'm, if I'm touching her, that means I, would ne I, I don't care about my daughter. I want to be in my daughter's life, so I would not jeopardize no kid, any type of kid, anywhere. And I treat her like my own daughter. Like, I would never do that. Like, so you didn't do anything sexual to no, the sir. little girl? Um, did you beat her? No, sir. I, like, pop her hand as far as that. I never, like, spanked her, her on the butt. butt. No, I never did. You nothing. didn't pop her on the butt? I never popped her. Because little butt. girl says you popped her on the butt. I never popped her. I pop her hand. That's it. And if she says, hey, we have a child together, but I have a child from a previous relationship, don't touch her, why would you then go against her wishes? I never heard, I never heard her talk about it, but she, like... Like, I get Did mad. you not have a conversation about disciplining the child? I did. It was a while ago because um, we have been t dealing with each other for a while. It right. was a while ago. He may not remember. You didn't, you didn't pop the child, right? No, so now I have put But her. you popped her, right? Popped her. Her? No, you I hit pushed her? her. I ain't never... How'd you break her glasses? I broke them. Oh, you didn't snap him on her face or anything, punch him? No. Okay. So he just pushed you? Yeah. Okay. Not that that's good either. Yeah, I was just trying to get her off my hair. I just shoved her. Because yeah, you don't want anything to happen to that. <laughs> um, <laughs> you believe that uh, Portia's mom, Tanya, is making this up? Yes, sir. Do you believe she's coaching a child to say this? Yes, sir. Okay. I would never coach a child to say anything like that. I know, Mom, I know. I would never, I, I don't even want my ch children knowing about sex I know. or anything like that. So there's no way I would tell a child to say, touch me here, touch me there. She said the bad guys are messing with me while I'm trying to sleep and they hurt my booty. And when she's talking about booty, <laughs> she's talking about the front and the back. Right. Cause, you so know. you believe that uh, Purnell goes in there and touches her? Yes, I believe mm -hmm. that. And you'd like for him to go to jail? Uh, yes. And get what the guys in prison get, do, do to the child molesters. Child molesters, yes. Okay. Yes. And what would that be? Um, you know, to mess with somebody, mess with his booty. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tanya, you came here also to take a lot to talk to mm -hmm. us about whether you're coaching or right. making, right. fabricating the story. And we asked you, did your granddaughter tell you that bad people hurt her booty? You said yes. Did you coach your granddaughter to say that bad people hurt her booty? You answered no. The results came back the same for both questions, and it came back that Tanya told the truth. I told you, I would not do that. I wouldn't do that. Purnell came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked him, did you ever touch your one-year-old daughter for your own sexual pleasure or gratification? He answered no. He told the truth. Did you ever touch Portia's three-year-old daughter for your own sexual pleasure or gratification? He answered no, told the truth. Yes. Have you ever struck Portia's three-year-old daughter leaving marks or bruises? He answered no, he did not tell the truth. Um, but as you say as a mother, I don't know what kind of mark or bruise, but I don't believe it's serious because you say you don't see marks or I've bruises. I've never seen a mark And I gotta imagine you're pretty on top of things with your daughter. Yes. Okay. But as far as both daughters, because we tested for both, no sexual, you know, misbehavior at all. Okay. How do you feel about that? Um, I feel pretty good about that, but I still want to know what's going on with my grandchild, why she's saying her butt hurt, why she's saying the bad Well, you might have smacked her on the ass and, you know, hurt her butt. <laughs> I mean, if she said, you know, if, something went on, right, something happened, right? Yeah. So I mean, that, that that could be it. I mean, but he's not doing anything sexual. He could have cracked her on her butt, and and you and know, it hurt it. When, and even it, maybe it didn't even hurt, but the perception of a big guy hitting you or putting their hands on you be like that that scares the child, right? Mm -hmm. So it could it could also be that. And you were gonna try to make it work with him? Yeah, probably. Well, because. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.